Hey guys, it's Callie and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be vlogging um, our trip to the Blue Ridge Mountains up in Georgia and I am super excited because I've never been there before and we're going to be staying in this super nice three-story cabin up in the woods um, with these super pretty views of the mountains. And yeah, we start our trip tomorrow and it's about a nine hour drive without stopping and we're leaving at around 5 a.m. so that means that I need to wake up around 4 a.m. so that's gonna be kind of tough but right now we are just packing and getting everything ready and I am currently almost all packed um, I just have a few more things that I need to put in here and then we're good to go but um, a super bad habit of mine is that I always overpack because I'm super indecisive about what I want to bring and what I want to wear and so I just wind up packing basically everything um, I can think of that I might want um, and then I wind up with a super full heavy suitcase um, and way too much luggage but anyways um, a little packing tip for you guys is if you don't want to have wrinkles and stuff in your clothes then roll them because um, I didn't know this, and if you roll your clothing um, like this, then they don't have any edges and creases, so there's no wrinkles. And then down here, we are getting all of the cabin essentials ready, so we just have Kleenex and some Hershey's bars and graham crackers with marshmallows, of course, for s'mores, because there's a fireplace there, and then just um, a bunch of granola bars in case we get hungry because the cabin um, doesn't come with any food, obviously. And then we also got these two giant, um, like massive things of candy for the car ride there because it's a long car ride. Um, and obviously we're not gonna be eating all of that because we would have like the biggest sugar high ever. But, um, I don't know, just a snack on because obviously it's a really long car ride and you want to have snacks, of course. So, um, and then for the cabin, we are also bringing games, of course. So we have some games over here. We might bring some more. And then um, mosquito spray, obviously, because um, we don't want to get eaten alive because it's up in the mountains. And um, these are also for the s'mores, um, the little rod things that you stick on them for the fireplace. And then I forgot to mention that we are also bringing masks and gloves, but um, masks because we obviously, it's Corona time in 2020 and we want to stay safe. Um, and then also some places require you to wear masks. So um, gotta make sure that we have those. But uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna finish packing up here and then we leave tomorrow at 5 a.m and I will see you guys then. Alright guys, so I currently look like a black blob right now. But it is 5.43 in the morning and we left a little bit later than we were expecting but we still left relatively on time. And so I have my Arizona watermelon iced tea, I think it's tea, with me and if you've never tried it I highly recommend it because it's really good. And then I have our bag of goodies, some pretzels and candy and other snacks in case we get hungry because those are essentials for a road trip. And then in case you're wondering who I'm with right now, I'm with my mom, but she does not want to be shown in the video. Do you wanna wave? She waved. Um, and so, yeah, we are now starting our nine hour trip to Blue Ridge, Georgia. chicken minis because they're super good and they only serve them until like 10 30 and I'm never awake 
usually on the road at 10.30. So um, I took advantage of the opportunity and got the chicken minis and they're super good. And we're gonna head back onto the road soon. And yeah. Eight hours later. Okay guys, so we just stopped at Chili's a little while ago and got some lunch and it is now 3.43 so it's been quite a little while and we have about an hour and a half left of our road trip before we reach the cabin. So I think I will update you guys then. So it was a pretty long drive, but we are finally here at the cabin in the mountains. Um, so I figured I would give you guys a quick little cabin tour because it's pretty cool. So for starters, so when you walk in, there's this big living room space and this giant open window view um, and it's super pretty. The view is amazing, and as you can see, like there's a balcony out there, and there's a fireplace here too, and the kitchen is over there, and we have all our stuff um, just laid out because we just got here, and we're still settling down and putting everything away, but so yeah, um, it's three stories, so the first story is up here, and my room is up there, that's, we'll, uh, that's where I will be staying, and then if you go... Over here, this is the room where my mom will be staying. And then all of the rooms have a bathroom with them, which is super nice. And so then there's a downstairs room. And this leads to the game room down here. So there is a foosball table and a couch seating area a nice TV and oops, um, a pool table, which is currently covered at the moment. Um, and then a little mini kitchen space and another bedroom where another family member of ours will be staying with the bathroom, of course. And then to my room. Oh, and then, um, Every floor also leads out to the balcony and there is a hot tub. So there's this little seating area over here and it wraps around over here. And then the hot tub, which is currently covered also, um, which is super nice as well. this cute little seating area in the hallway and then when you turn to the room it is the bed over here and a TV as well and there's also a full-length mirror which is awesome as well and then the best part is that this room has its very own balcony with an amazing view. It's pretty cool. And it goes pretty far down. And then my bathroom is also in here. So pretty much like the other bathrooms. So yeah, that's basically the tour for you guys. I tried not to make the tour too long, but I wanted to include everything because the cabin is super cool. And I've never uh, stayed at a cabin quite like this. Oh gosh. You didn't see that giant step down. <laughs> I 
Alright guys, so this is the deck on the middle level and um, it also has such an amazing view and of the mountains and then um, it also has this cute little seating area and then what I like is it has this little swing that you can chill in so you can like sit here and oops, and look out at the mountains which is I don't know I think that's super nice this cabin is super pretty and I'm so thankful to be here and tomorrow we are going horseback riding so that should be super fun um, and we're doing like a horseback riding picnic sort of thing so um, like we're gonna go on a ride um, with an instructor and then we're gonna take a break to have lunch and a little picnic in the fields and the mountains wherever we are so I'm looking forward to that So this is just another view of the cabin, super pretty. And then this leads, the stairway leads down to the fire pit. Down here. So this view is closer to the ground, but also still really pretty, and um, we'll probably see lots of wildlife out here as well. When we were on our way here, uh, we saw um, a little baby deer and also a rabbit, and we also saw um, some bear warning signs too, which was pretty <laughs> concerning, but also kind of cool. So yeah, um, probably going to see lots of animals and stuff, which is awesome. Um, if you don't know, I'm from Florida, so it is really, really flat, and there's not a whole lot of mountains and stuff, so to be here is just super cool and um, exciting. So we just ate dinner, and then I changed into some jeans and sneakers because now we are trying to start a fire to make s'mores down at the fireplace outside and I sprayed myself with a ton of mosquito spray and let me tell you I'm already getting eaten alive so if in my next clips along this video I have a bunch of red bumps all over me you will know why but anyways we're trying to start the fire and um, we keep adding twigs and stuff to it but uh, it's way too damp so we are now going to try using paper towels to see if that will work because um, obviously um, the wood and stuff that you use needs to be dry so that the fire can start. So we will see how that goes and then we will get to making s'mores. Alright guys, so it is now nighttime and I just took a shower obviously because my hair is all wet. Um, it's 9.04 p.m. and the sky outside is so pretty, so pretty. But anyways, I have had such a long day today and I am super tired, so I think we're just all going to play a quick little game downstairs together and then I'm going to head to bed so I can get some rest because I've barely gotten any sleep in the last 48 hours and uh yeah so i will see you guys tomorrow the next morning okay guys so it is currently about 9 45 in the morning and it is day number two and we are about to go horseback riding so i'm super excited and i'm just wearing this floral top and jeans because you want to go horseback riding in jeans um and then I'm probably just gonna throw on some tennis shoes. And this is the view this morning. So it's super foggy outside. 
but yeah, so we're just gonna go horseback riding now, and then we're gonna have um, a little picnic for lunch in between, and then after that, I'm not sure what we're gonna do. We might just head back to the cabin, or we might go shopping or something. But yeah, so I'm gonna try to vlog some of it for you guys, so stay tuned. <laughs> just got back from dinner it is currently 8 54 p.m. and so we are now going to try to start a fire again because last night all of the twigs and grass and wood we were using was too damp so the fire kept burning out and it didn't work out but uh, we went to Walmart and we got some quick start so hopefully uh, the wood that we got will help the fire pick up really fast and stay lit so that we can make s'mores and then after that we got these little packets uh, to put in the fire that will change the color which is super cool so hopefully the fire will actually last this time and I can get some good footage for you guys. so it is midnight and I'm pretty tired we had a pretty eventful day we went horseback riding which was super fun the trails were super pretty and our instructor was super nice and we did some trotting and stuff and went up some hills and down some hills and we went to this place called Mercier's Orchards and got some stuff there from the bakery and then we went out to dinner and then we got the fire to work so we got to make s'mores and put the little color changing packet things in there and then we just played some games but yeah it was a pretty good day and now I'm going to get some sleep because I'm super super tired and I think I'm going to end the video here because it's getting pretty long so I think I'm going to split it into two parts so that it's not obscenely long but yeah so thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed and if you did enjoy watching this video then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for part two or more videos from me in the future.